Hello, the purpose of this recording is to assist you in Laboratory 4.04, which is solar energy, where you're going to be describing solar radiation and its effects upon the Earth. You're going to be simulating the most powerful energy resource of Earth, which is the Sun, by using a 100 watt light bulb. You're going to measure a variety of distances and see how the intensity varies with distances, measuring with a ruler and measuring temperature also with a thermometer. You're going to see how this relatively simple experiment is going to give you a lot of information about the sun and distance. Underneath your materials tab and list and resources, you're um, going to see the materials that you're going to be needing, your thermometer, a ruler, which is a metric and English scale, measuring tape, masking tape, a shoe box, a watch or timer, and a lamp with a removable shade. Now essentially when you're setting up the experiment, it'll look like this. You're going to have a stack of books to help with distance, your ruler to measure the distance between the box and the light source. This is a shoe box. You're going to be taping your thermometer either into the lid or into the front of the box. And here's some masking tape. Before you begin, you're going to want to be doing some advanced preparation, which is again reviewing the list of materials and opening up your LRD laboratory report sheet. Again, you're going to tape the thermometer to the lid of the shoe box, or if you happen to have a K12 materials kit, tape it to, to that with masking tape. And then you're going to remove the lamp from the shade, or perhaps you have a lamp that was shown in a prior illustration where the light bulb is exposed. A little bit of safety, of course. Make sure that your light bulb does not touch the lamp or any other surface when it's lit. And once you've completed the lab, don't touch a light bulb until it's cooled down significantly. Wait at least 30 minutes. And don't touch the thermometer until it's cooled down as well. So phase one, so you're going to lay the lamp on the floor on its side, and you're going to elevate the lamp slightly, um, as with a couple of sh books that was shown previously, so that the bulb doesn't touch the floor or the books. You're going to turn the lamp on, but do not face the thermometer towards the light bulb yet. You're going to just allow the light bulb to warm up at this point for two minutes, and that's way, way its brightness will be stable before you begin your experiment. Then after two minutes, you're going to place a box on its side with a tape thermometer facing the light bulb. So after it's warmed up, you're going to have this facing the tape side of the thermometer. Here's an example of the thermometer taped to the box facing the light source. Afterwards, you're going to use the ruler to place the thermometer four inches from the light source, and you're going to place the thermometer so that there's a straight line between the light bulb and the thermometer. And you're going to use your watch or timer to measure the temperature on the thermometer after five minutes. And after five minutes, you're going to record this temperature on the table on your lab report um, paperwork for discussion. Under number one. So at each distance that you're going to be doing this experiment at, phase one of the experiment is four inches, measuring the temperature after on the thermometer after five minutes. Phase two will be eight inches, phase three, 16 inches, phase four, you're going to be measuring 32 inches, and then lastly, phase five, 64. After you gather all the information, you're going to plot a table. And you're going to examine the relationship between distance and temperature. So here, you're going to be um, plotting your distance that you did versus the temperature on this graph and creating a line graph. Now the next portion that you're going to be answering is that you already know that energy increases with distance. So the next step is you're going to be examining what does your particular experiment tell you about this relationship. Look at these two graphs, which are both different ways to measure something decreasing over distance or time. Now based on your experiment, what you're going to be interpreting 
is which graph resembles the way the sun's energy decreases over distance. So we're going to look at the first graph, which is called an inverse square. This is showing distance from the sun increasing, and then this is showing low to high energy output. The next way, this is called an example of energy slowly decreasing, then begins to drop rapidly as the distance from the sun increases. The next is a linear relationship, whereas the distance from the sun is increasing and your temperature is decreasing. There's a linear relationship between temperature increasing and distance decreasing. So as you're plotting it, again, in your data that you accumulate from your laboratory experiment in your graph right here and create your line graph, which of those three graphs does it most represent? And then lastly, you're going to write your answer right here. That information, your answer, is going to be your discussion, where you're going to have your hypothesis of, hypothesis of what you originally believed would be the result of this experiment, and did your data support your hypothesis? Was there a linear relationship, an inverse square relationship, or did you observe, lastly, that the energy slowly decreased and then began to drop off rapidly towards the end of your experiment? I hope you enjoy this solar radiation experiment, and please remember to follow all the safety procedures. And lastly, you can post your hypothesis and your results in a K-mail to myself.